welcome to my first week as a nurse. So we have a lot to go still. I hope that makes sense. Mm. And they were in the backyard. And it says my name in RN. guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first week as a nurse ah! I have nursing orientation all this week I'm currently staying in an Airbnb definitely watch the last video if you guys missed that because in that video I prepped for my week and I also discussed my first day as a nurse which was just orientation but today I also have orientation and same with the rest of the week so I wanted to take you guys along I woke up at like 5 30 about an hour ago got ready and then prep my stuff for today we actually were told that we we're gonna get breakfast and lunch but then come to find out it's only the first day so I had to go to Trader Joe's last night and get some stuff to make breakfast and lunch but I just bought some pre-made salads and stuff to make overnight oats to make it easy on myself so I didn't really have to cook because it's really hard to cook with other people's dishes like there's no dishwasher so I have to hand wash everything and I definitely have to wash it before I use it so I have to wash it before I use it and then after I use it and then it's just a lot the dishes just aren't the same like I miss my dishes at home, but it is what it is. We're making do with what we got. So I'm gonna take you guys along today. I have to be there at 7.30, so I'm gonna leave here in about 20 minutes and we're gonna have a great day. Okay, I just got home from a day of orientation. Sorry, I literally didn't film like anything. I kind of forgot, honestly, and I kind of don't want to like film while I'm in orientation. Plus it's probably not even allowed. So anyway, it was a good day. We actually got out pretty early. We got out at 3.30. Majority of the day we spent doing presentations again, but we actually talked a lot more about like nursing things. So we talked about like the Nurse Practice Act. We had a pharmacy manager come and talk to us about the Pixis and just like medications and all that fun stuff. We also did a bunch of health stream modules which if you know you know if you're in healthcare I literally have 84 to do and I think I probably finished like 10 so we have a lot to go still actually no I ended with 77 so I didn't even complete 10 yet which who knows how long it's gonna take me to do those but I hope we we have more time the rest of the week to finish those and then after I actually went to employee health services and got my TB test turned in my vaccinations did all that fun stuff so now we're back home and it is about I don't have my watch on but it's like 4 30 I think so I think I'm gonna do a little workout in my Airbnb and then probably go for a walk because I've been sitting like literally all day and it's so nice outside like yesterday was like 90 something but today I think it's cooler like 80 so I'm gonna pick out a little workout outfit and go do that it's a great day okay let's go work out and walk here's my little pre-workout snack green tea and a sea salt chocolate rx bar I love these apartment there is no jumping
guys, it is the next day. It is Wednesday. I'd be at class today at 7.30 and hopefully we'll get off again at 3.30, but I just woke up and got ready. I actually don't know what we're, what we're doing today. It's gonna be more classroom training, obviously, but I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna cover, so I guess we'll find out. But this is the fit. I absolutely love this color of scrubs. Wait, let me show you guys the shoes because my shoes like kind of tie in with the peach because I have the peach hoka sign and I just love them. I'm such a new grad with my little cute outfits. Anywho, I probably won't be filming much today because I'm actually recording a day in the life video for TikTok. So definitely check that out if you're looking for more content. But tomorrow and Friday, I will definitely get more content for you guys because I feel like I haven't been filming that much for YouTube. It's hard to do both, honestly. Like it's so hard to film TikTok and YouTube at the same time. So try to just like film one or the other. That way you're not seeing like the same exact content. Does that make sense? Oh, also really quick, I wanted to update you guys. I got my schedule for like until mid-June. I thought that was so nice. It's currently April 24th and I got my schedule until mid-June. So they gave us a lot in advance and most of it is good except next week kind of sucks because I don't know if I even said in this video but I am driving three hours to where I have to work because I live three hours from the hospital but I'm driving here and airbnb on the days that I have to work. So next week kind of sucks because I work two days and then I have one day off and then I work another day. So I'm like, do I Airbnb for those? four days or do I airbnb for two nights and then drive home and then drive back I don't know I'm still debating because obviously airbnb is not cheap it's like a hundred dollars roughly a night so that would be like four hundred dollars for me saying four nights versus three hundred say three nights but then if you factor in gas I don't know I really am still deciding plus obviously I want to see my boyfriend on my day off so I might just drive home even though it kind of sucks the commute but there's really no traffic though, which is nice, knock on wood, but it's kind of just a straight shot all the way home. So it's really not a bad drive. I just have to keep myself awake and occupied by listening to audiobooks and Taylor Swift. So that's the tea on that. But it's kind of nice because after next Thursday, I have six days off and then I come back for three days on and then I have two days off and then I have three more days on and then I have another six days off. And then after that, I think it's like two on, two off. So it's really not a bad schedule and I'm kind of happy about it. I'm excited to have those like big stretches off. That was like one of the main reasons I wanted to become a nurse, honestly, is because of that schedule that they have. And obviously, there's way more reasons why I want to become a nurse, but that's just another perk. So that's exciting. Also, also, I don't know if I talked about in this video either that the position that I accepted at the hospital I'm working at is actually ER inpatient. So I'm working in the ER, but it's going to be like a little bit of a separate unit from the like main ER where the patients come kind of after they've already been in the ER. They go to my unit where they stay for like a few days. And I, what I understand by it is that these patients aren't sick enough to go up to the floor, but they're not healthy enough to go home yet, if that makes sense. So they do need to stay in the ER for a little bit longer, but we only have so many beds in the ER, so they created this new unit to where they can have more people stay in the ER, but not in the actual ER where traumas come in and all that stuff. I hope that makes sense because it's hard to explain, but yeah, that's where I'm gonna be working. So we'll see how that is. I also found out yesterday, I'm technically not in a nurse residency program. Like when I applied for the job, it was a regular ED inpatient nurse position. It wasn't like a nurse residency position, but I found out that all clinical nurse ones, which is what I am, go through the nurse residency program. So I will be getting all of that training, which is nice because I was kind of nervous about not going through a nurse residency program. So technically I didn't apply for it, but I am in it. So I don't know. It's really, it's kind of confusing how they do it, but it should be good and some extra learning, which I feel like I need to refresh some things. So that should be nice. Okay, let's go to class. We are finally on our lunch break. Today has been probably the most exhausting day so far because we literally have not had a break. We started at 7.30, it's now 11.45. So far they've lectured about infection prevention and then we had a whole safe patient handling course where we had like a lecture portion and then we had to do like the skills hands-on stuff basically just moving patients from bed to chair from bed to gurney and like how to do like the proper body mechanics and all that stuff and i actually just did this like a few months ago when i became a patient transporter so it was all definitely a refresher but they actually do things very differently here so i kind of had to like relearn how they want us to do it yeah i was definitely needing a break i'm eating this salad from trader joe's mexi cali salad it's pretty good
this right here to help I squeeze my eyes shut and try to push into this. Don't say it's fine, but it didn't sound like it was going to happen. Let the blame go. Just pull the guys happy thursday i have two more orientation days this week today and tomorrow and today we have to be there at seven so we'll go extra early and it is now 605 i gotta leave by like 6 30 i mean i don't have to leave that early but i like to be there and just sit in my car and like eat my overnight oats and just chill out for a little bit before i go in and yeah i think we're gonna do epic training today so i hope it's not too boring i've actually already used epic through nursing school which obviously as a nurse it's a little bit different but most of the things are still the same so i feel like i know some of it anywho since the first night i've definitely slept way better like i pretty much just lay in bed read my kindle for like 10 minutes and then fall asleep it's been amazing i actually stopped using the ac in the room and i started using the fan instead and that's been working i'm gonna take my little gem vitamin these vitamins are kind of cool because they're like a little snack i think i'm gonna sit here and upload a tiktok video and then get on my way to class <laughs> Freaking love the new Taylor Swift album. 12 out of 10. I think it's my favorite album yet. I think it is my favorite. Time to eat my overnight oats. I literally just put them in this little Greek yogurt cup so I didn't have to do dishes. Okay, I'm gonna go because I don't want people to see me filming. OMG, this is very full. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I'll talk to you guys probably on my lunch break. Okay, you guys. It is lunch time. Today is um, exhausting. <laughs> We're literally just sitting there on the computer doing epic training for hours on end. It's been four and a half hours so far. We also did glucometer training, which was fun. But the epic training is definitely essential, especially because I'm gonna be in the ER. So what I learned in was how to chart for med surge and like med surge floor. And so the ER is very different. It is very tiring because you're just staring at a computer screen and kind of just following the prompts of what it tells you to do and all that. But for lunch, I'm having this field fresh chopped salad from Trader Joe's. I literally just bought like every single chicken salad they had. I wanted some variety. Definitely my favorite Trader Joe's salad is the, I can't think of what it's called off the top of my head, but it has like chicken and couscous and this like vinaigrette dressing and it's so good. We'll see how this one is. It looks pretty similar to the one I had yesterday. Okay, I'm gonna sit here and eat my salad and watch YouTube and then go in and do four more hours of epic training. We get off at 3.30 today, so I'm excited for that. It's 11.40 right now. I just got back from my run and my orientation. Orientation was, it felt so long today. Honestly, I'm just over it. <laughs> I'm over sitting in a classroom for eight hours straight. It's kind of exhausting. And then tomorrow I have to sit in a classroom for eight hours straight and then drive home three hours. So I'm gonna be sitting for so long. Maybe I should wake up and do a workout. No, definitely not. That's uh, way too much work. I went for like a three-ish mile run and then I walked like half a mile after, which is good, but I'm feeling kind of less motivated to run now than I was when I first started running a few weeks ago. So I'm trying to keep the momentum going, but it's kind of hard, especially when I run by myself. When I run with my boyfriend, I feel like I don't have to motivate myself as much, which makes sense because I have an accountability partner. 
but I think I'm gonna take a shower and then edit some YouTube I also have to kind of pack up my stuff tonight because I'm gonna be checking out in the morning before I go to class and then Driving straight home after class. So I have to have all my stuff packed and yeah, that's the tea I'm trying to like eat up all my food so I don't waste anything and I've been googling like what foods I have to refrigerate because at my orientation there's a literal mini fridge like there's not enough room for me to bring anything that I have left over so for instance I have I'm gonna be throwing away probably like five meatballs because I bought this pack of meatballs from Trader Joe's and I just can't finish them all I should have not bought that and chicken sausage because I bought both of them I finished the chicken sausage but not the meatballs anyways you guys probably don't care about that but that's the tea that's what's going on the people that I'm renting this Airbnb from it, it, it's like a guest house so it's behind their main house and I started filming in the kitchen and I looked out the window and they were in the backyard and I was like maybe I should move so I came in the bedroom I'm gonna take a shower the shower is literally so mini you probably can't tell how tiny it is but it's uncomfortably small like especially when I'm trying not to get my hair wet it's really hard but whatever we make it work it's not the end of the world Show me where the ending goes on it. Good morning, you guys. Happy Friday. I have to pack my breakfast and coffee and all that stuff and then clean up and get everything ready to go. And I gotta check out before I go home. I'm wearing these fig scrubs that NCLEX Bootcamp sent me. And they have their like little logo and it says my name and rn they're so cute sadly my hospital we can't wear black all black scrubs we can wear anything but all black scrubs so i won't be able to wear these but today's orientation so I, it's fine that i wear them and then yeah i think i bought like the perfect amount of coffee oh i could have used a little more i guess they have coffee at the place anyway, so if I do need more, I can always make myself a cup. I did buy a little bit too much oat milk. Well, actually I can... No, I can't say those. So it has to be refrigerated. Then I have my last salad. This is the one I was talking about yesterday, the lemon chicken and arugula salad. So good. Bringing that. Also gonna bring yogurt with some maple syrup and peanut butter. As you guys know, I always make this. I love this peanut butter. Usually I buy the organic one, but I was feeling like saving money rather than being organic. So I bought this one, but it's so creamy and like really good. I'm thoroughly impressed. Also, it still only has dry roasted peanuts and salt. So it's not horrible. It's just not organic. And then I'm just gonna do this last half a banana, but I'm just gonna break it because I don't feel like dirtying another knife and I have to do dishes. It still tastes the same, right? Good there. Okay, I think my last thing to do is empty the fridge. Basically already empty. I need to throw these meatballs though. A single bell pepper. And some water. Also this sandwich. I'm going that way. Okay, time to take up the trash and take everything to my car. Hopefully in like two trips. Now let's do my bags. Okay, you guys, it is lunchtime. Okay, 
our freaking instructor he was like you guys can stay until 12 and then leave but if you have a bunch of modules that are due next week then you can stay and finish those if you want and i'm like okay well i might as well just stay for the whole day until four because i have so many modules to do through health stream which is like basically all this like e-learning stuff that we have to do when we first get hired and i have like a ton of them due may 6th so i'm like well might as well just stay plus if i leave early then i'm not getting paid for those last four hours and I drove all the way here, so might as well stay until 4. Even though I'm gonna hate my life. Because it's sitting in front of a computer screen all day. So yeah, that's the team. I just did a module on active shooting. Scary. And I also did one earlier on like heparin calculations. And that was so freaking confusing. And I wish I could ask questions, but there's no instructor to ask questions to now. So I kind of just had to like guess on some of the questions, but it is what it is. I'm sure I'll learn it on the job and it'll be fine. But I'm just gonna eat my lemon arugula chicken salad from Trader Joe's, which is my fave. I don't know why I was holding my fork like that. Mm -mm -mm. Just got out of class, currently getting gas. That rhymed. I've been sitting for legit eight hours. I mean, I took breaks in between, but like eight hours. I'm sitting for eight hours and now I'm about to sit for another three and my butt already hurts. I could not have a job where I sit at a desk all day because my butt just cannot take it. Like I'd rather stand all day, honestly. Like I'd rather my feet hurt than my butt. Cause I feel like with your feet, you can do something about it. Like you can just sit down. But with your butt hurting, you can't just stand and like watch the videos and stuff. But basically we just did health stream modules like literally all day. Exhausting. And I still have like half to go, but I think I'm gonna fin probably finish them next week. So we'll see. But I think I'm gonna stop and get a matcha and then start on my three hour drive. try instead just try something different so let's taste test shall we this lady in front of me literally spilled her oh my god it's so full oh definitely gotta mix it it's like warm at the bottom mm, that is really good definitely very sweet though I wanted something like that wasn't as sweet, but they said that they pre-sweeten their matcha and chai. So I was like, well, whatever. Tastes like dessert. Anyways, the lady in front of me spilled her entire large iced tea. I felt so bad for her. Like she had just picked it up off the counter and just dropped it. And I was like, oh my God. I would actually hate my life, but they made her a new one, obviously. But I just like was embarrassed for her. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna start this drive. Let's go. I made it home safely. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching my first week as a nurse. Definitely a lot more nursing content to come, so subscribe if you're new here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.